When adding a new contact record in Power Base, uh, you click on Contacts and let's say we're adding a new person and we would choose a new individual. There are some additional options that come up. Uh, Power Base has some subtypes. So if you are creating a media contact or a funder contact or an elected official, contact, you would choose one of these, but in general you're choosing a new individual. The screens look the same and there are just some additional fields available for those subtypes that are not pertinent to most people. You would go in here and you would add the information that is pertinent. Note that when you put in a last name and you move off the field, uh, I was using the tab to get around, uh, and so when I tabbed out of the last name field, uh, the database automatically shows me a list of potential matches with my last name, just trying to help me not to enter a duplicate. Current employer is a lookup field. The database will be looking up to see if there are any entries in the database that match what I am putting in. If I find what I'm looking for, I can choose it. The database will automatically create an organization entry if there is none that matches. And in either case, we'll create a relationship of employer to employee. And so let's put in a job title we can add an email for this person and designate what type of email it is. If we want to add an additional email address or an additional phone number, we click the Add button. That gives us another field to work with. It also creates the offers us to choose which one is the primary, and we do that the same way with additional phone numbers. Uh, we scroll down and see a couple of more fields we can fill in. Constituent type has a red star. This means this is a required field. And so uh, if you do not mark something in here, and it is a multi checkbox, so you can mark more than one item, but if there is nothing marked, it will not let you save the record. Staff responsible is quite handy. Uh, our recommendation is that you do not put a new person in the database without connecting that person, making that person the responsibility of one of your staff. If you choose to do that, you can uh, put in the different names of staff. If you click on address, uh, you can create as many addresses as you want. Uh, you have the address field, city, state, the zip code. Uh, we have set up Ohio to be the default state. Uh, if you want, you can use somebody else's address. If I check the share address box, what it lets me do is look up people or organizations in the database. And instead of entering a new address, I can use this organization's address. And that way, uh, if this organization moves, I'm going to go ahead and make this their work address, then we would only have to change it once. There are additional fields here, privacy, do not mail. If you check this box, when you print mailing labels, uh, it will by default check and not print any labels for people that have do not mail checked. Here's a list of languages. You can add a note from this screen. Demographics has a couple of other fields, including a secondary language, and then you can add people to different tags and groups. And you click Save, and you save your record.